welcome to this episode of True Talk. Mm -hmm. um, if this is your first time, you are welcome. We are very, very welcome. Today we'll have a very interesting topic, mm -hmm. something that we'll be focusing more on the youth, teenagers and youths. So if mommies and daddies are watching this, please, we would like you to um, call your children to come and join <laughs> in on this episode. Yeah. And from the topic, you probably have already seen the mm -hmm. topic, the yeah, is it okay to have a boyfriend or girlfriend? Mm. We'll be right back after the break to dive into it. Please stay tuned. Hey, lady, what were you trying to say? I didn't understand. Okay, before you say anything, I'm sorry I did not come for your baby bath, even though my heart was there, but I have a gift for you. This is my little gift for you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. And for the other, I don't know what else you want me to do. Your friends know that I love you. I even told my mom about you and I thought to introduce you at the party. I mean, you said I need to be born again. And I've done that already. What else do you want me to do? And dad is ready to send me abroad with whoever my future husband will be. And that's why he doesn't want me to study here in Nigeria. Tiolu, I don't know your stand on this. I, I don't know what to tell them. You've not said anything. Tiolu, say something now. Hmm. Some years ago, God showed me a dream about my future and how great my future will be. Our teacher then, a um, man of God and the fellowship, our school fellowship coordinator, then told him when I narrated the dream to him. He said, what God showed me in that dream is possible if I'm willing and determined. I knew it. I knew there was something special about you. Diolu, my dad is ready to spend on us and is whoever I choose as husband to be. Diolu, accept this offer and let's start our lives together. Diolu, you know how difficult it is for me to say this to another man. Diolu, please. Like they see, mm. I appreciate all of this, honestly. But the, uh, this is a privilege that anyone will see and be happy and grateful about. Then, but the problem is, I don't have a life of my own. I don't understand. What do you mean? He decides everything. He determines my life. He has a final say. Ooh, ooh, ooh. God. <laughs> As in God in heaven? Yes. See, lady, I am only following him with faith, hoping that he will lead me to his will for my life and make everything clear to me. So you don't have anything to say to all I've said? <sighs> lady, I have prayed. I have asked questions, but I have not said anything, even till now. You mean God? I mean, must he decide everything for you when he has given you a brain to reason and to think? My dear, he said in all of my ways, I should acknowledge him and he would direct my path. And I have been patiently waiting, but he has not said anything. So what are you going to do now? My dear, I have to wait. Till when? Till he speaks. How do I know what he's going to tell you? Do you even know what he will tell you? I mean, I, I don't think I can Lady, wait. Lady. My dad wants an answer now. I need to move on. I'm sorry, Lady. I can't wait. Lady, I'm sorry. Please try understand. Like the, he has not said anything. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? This is a great opportunity that will turn my life around for good. Hey, God, could you please speak to me now? What should I do? Please say something. I want to do your will. Should I go with Lady? She's a child of God. Psalm 146. That is on her knees, brother and Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. His breath goeth forth, he returneth to his head. In that very day, his thoughts perish. Happy is he that hath the Lord God of Jacob for his help. Whose hope is in the Lord is God, which made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is therein, which keepeth truth forever. Flesh moved by the Spirit, who am I? Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. His breath goeth forth, he returneth to his head. In that very day, 
his thoughts perish. Ah, God, I got it now. So I should put my trust in you. Oh, God, thank you, God. I choose to put my trust in you. I, I am willing to be patient and wait on you to do whatever you need with my life. Thank you, Jesus, for speaking to me. Oh, please help Lady. Please keep her and make her strong in you. Thank you, Jesus. Help me. Help me, Jesus. Help me. Help me. Welcome, welcome back. back. Welcome. Yeah, welcome back. So like we said, we have a very interesting topic. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe a bit controversial to the people in the secular world, but to us believers, there should be a standard, and we're mm -hmm. here to discuss that standard. Mm -hmm. But before going into in-depth, we'd like to just be on the same page to address the terminologies, boyfriend, girlfriend, dating, mm -hmm. engaged, courtship. Mm -hmm. Let's go out. What do these things really mean? So, um, yeah. So. When we meet boyfriend, we're talking about a relationship, or oh, sorry, boyfriend, girlfriend, a relationship with somebody who you just want to, you know, date. Let's just date. Let's just go out. See Let's see goes. where this goes, mm -hmm. where this where this leads. Mm -hmm. That it's question. There's no marriage in view. <laughs> there's no marriage in view. You're thing. just trying, try and error, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As against courtship, which we define, we have an end. Mm -hmm. You know, we have something in view, we have yeah. a destination, a destination, there's a focus. <clears throat> That's what we refer to as courtship. Yeah. Um, engaged. In the secular world, when they say they're engaged, it means he, the, the, man, the man has, you know, gone on one knee, you know, and a presented ring. a ring. Will you marry me? Will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> but when we say we're engaged here, it doesn't necessarily mean he has done that. In the, uh, among we believers, engaged just means a, a man, a woman, have agreed together to get married. Yeah. So they are cutting, they are engaged. Mm -hmm. They may not be a ring. Some men choose to present rings. And usually at the, the point of the yeah, at the point closer out. towards the marriage. Mm -hmm. Yes. And usually ladies like that anyway. So <laughs> just take notes, dear brothers. <laughs> so that's that for engaged and courtship and dating and all that. So talk about dating. Yes, dating. I was thinking about that. Mm -hmm. So for dating, dating is what um, is the term we use for the boyfriend, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. in our setting here so when we say um he's my boyfriend he's my girl she's my girlfriend those two people are dating mm -hmm. so abroad now dating for them once you just go for a <laughs> for a an for outing a drink, they drink or, or a meal or something meal together. after that they begin to say i'm seeing someone you know we're dating but here it's a bit more specific the guy usually says she can we can be my girlfriend keep my boyfriend let's date and then they are dating so that's different from the courtship which is De, um, headed towards a destination. Marriage. Has a marriage. destination, marriage. yes. So, haven't cleared the air on that. What about crushed? What exactly? Who is a crush? Yeah. Yeah. Crush. <laughs> I, I think a crush is basically having you know, <coughs> when you like someone. I would, yeah, like, a little um, more than friendship. Yes, a little yeah. more than yeah. friendship. Yeah. Like, you like this person, and I would say that having a crush is not wrong. It's not a sin. Yes. Yeah. God put those feelings in us. <laughs> we are meant to, you know, we have feelings yeah. that. When I was in we school, we all had crushes. I had, I had, I had a like, crush. A lot of crush. Some people put crush on celebrities. Yeah. 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 Yes, exactly. So, but then what do you do with that crush? Is what mm -hmm. determines if it's wrong or all right. right. Yeah. So, yes. And then just to add to that, um, when I was when I was still in, um, should I say, uh, children Bible school in the church I was attending before this present church that I'm attending. Um, we'll hear our Sunday school church that if you have a crush, you crush, <laughs> crush your crush. crush. <laughs> you crush your crush. <laughs> and it, 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 it might have sounded funny then that how can we crush our crush? crush? <laughs> you know, but the point is just that um, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't indulge in activities mm -hmm. or you shouldn't let your crush lead you or let your feelings, feelings. rule you yeah. or lead you. Exactly. We're, we're not supposed to be controlled by our emotions. Yes. We're supposed to control oh, our emotions, yeah, sure. intentionally control them. Just like what Tony said, it depends on what you do with mm -hmm. what you're feeling. Because yes. it means you are fine. You're a human yes. being. You're, if you have Absolutely if you have feelings for a lady, I'm happy for you. <laughs> I'm happy for you. So you are a, you're a functioning yeah. man. So yeah, it's it's what you do with the feelings that matters. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I just want to add a little bit on the crush. Like if you're a young person and you're having a crush. And you don't know what to do with it. You can seek counsel from somebody that is older, mm -hmm. not from your friends mm -hmm. necessarily, because yeah. your friends might give you wrong advice. Yeah. You're on the same do. level. Exactly. So. Still on the issue of crush, you know, you said that you should not what you do with crush matters. Yeah. One thing to note is that when you have a crush, when you ponder on that thought, on that feeling, it, it grows. It grows. So it grows. Yeah. The feelings grow. So <laughs> no, 
if you say I have a crush on a person and you don't want to, and you say what to do with it matters, but then I'm still thinking about it, I'm still daydreaming, mm -hmm. I'm still fantasizing, I'm yes, still going through to, to see yes. the <laughs> I'm going to scrutinize this person's yes, social media account. Yes, I'm going to images in your mind. So you're, you're fueling the crush, mm -hmm. and that is doing something, and it's not yeah. supposed to do anything in, with mm -hmm. regards to the crush. In like, I mean, fueling the crush. So, like you said, seek counsel. One other thing to do is pray about it. There's nothing too big to, or too small to pray about. So just mm -hmm. tell God. Be open to God. He knows everything. Just that I have this feeling for this person, and I really want it to go away. Mm -hmm. So that's one other thing to do. And if as much as possible, if you can avoid contact Avoid with the, the person, person yes. if it's possible it helps a lot it really does but if you can't i mean life goes on that does not mean to crucify yourself so that's that about crush all right so i haven't said that we'll be um addressing the reason why, why people, people date. date what is the motive behind most you know relationships dating here and there mm. one top in the list is peer pressure I am a practical example because then secondary school um, I was in I was in hostel and there was this new guy that came to our class it was fine so it was a crush right so mm -hmm. just an innocent crush and I happened to tell somebody which we just spoke about yeah. don't tell don't don't go around feeding the wrong oh, yeah. ears if you need counsel seek counsel so mm -hmm. I told someone who also also was in the hostel and news got around and it got to the person got to know long story short the person asked me out and then um i started hearing people were telling me that ah do you say fine but now and then i didn't i didn't get the right, right counsel even though growing up my parents had already told us that it's, it's not right for it to have a boyfriend but you know when you're really faced with it and you're in, and then you have pressure from here and there that oh no you're just going to be friends you know you will do your homework together you know stuff like that that everybody's doing there's nothing wrong in it and because of that i made that decision to have a boyfriend in secondary school and of course i'm not proud of it today i'm like i wish i didn't but my experience is to encourage you and to guide you not to make those mistakes so one topping the list is peer pressure and peer pressure is not necessarily only when People are shouting in your ears, don't yeah. do this or do this. It can be very subtle. It can be the fact that everybody has a boyfriend. Everyone else is. So you feel like you're different. Nice. You feel like you're just queer. So that's peer pressure. So do you want to add anything to that? Um, I think companionship. <laughs> okay, yeah. Some people feel, oh, yes, I want to, you know, just express these feelings mm -hmm. that I have towards the person. But I mean, like Dara mentioned, your feelings should not control you. Mm -hmm. So you have those feelings, yes, but remember that there's time for everything. Mm -hmm. So you can, the best thing you can do is to submit that feeling to God because God is interested in every aspect of your life and He wants to have an intimate relationship with you. So if you find that you're having uncontrollable feelings, towards someone like you feel like being with the person and you know being in a relationship with the person i would advise you submit that feeling to god and say god please <laughs> these feelings i can't handle them i give it to you <laughs> help me i want to have a relationship with you i want to know you more yeah yes and then just to add to that you know um when you're in secondary school and then when you're in that phase of your life there's so much um excitement so much youthful, youthful exuberance that you just want to unleash and experience <laughs> everything so that's that period can be tempting for you and it also can be very very dicey because mm -hmm. if you if you make some mistakes it can it, it, it can have an effect on the long run mm -hmm. and that's why scripture says in Ecclesiastes 12 1 that you should remember your creator in the days of your youth mm -hmm. before the evil days come and then mm -hmm. you say you have no pleasure in this so just like what Tolu said there is so much benefit in seeking the face of the Lord and being intimate with the Lord at this time so there are more things to give your time to, you know, just like you said, you don't have to control, you don't have to let your emotions control you, but rather control your emotions and essentially submit it into the hands of the Lord and it will shock you how, how, how you just feel so whole without needing a companion of the opposite sex to just, you know, go and eat sweets mm -hmm. and read <laughs> books and just, you know, while away time with. So, yeah, yeah. very true. And spoiler, guys. Um, in, it may not necessarily be, be an easy journey when you choose to, you know, be different. Yeah. When you want to stand yeah. out, the mm -hmm. people who might critique you, they might laugh at you, they might push you to one side and say, are you mm -hmm. the only one? Are you, why are you different? You know, yeah. I make you feel terrible. I isolate you. I isolate <laughs> you. So just be ready, be prepared. Just know that this is possible, but yeah. it's on the long run, it's worth it. It's so on the long run, it. it's usually 
the best. Mm -hmm. And so in the midst of all that, it's, it could be very good to get people of like minds. Like yeah. Bible says, I spoke about Daniel. Yeah. He had, you know, he and his friend, they proposed. It might have been harder for him alone exactly. to take those steps and say, yeah. I don't want to um, eat the king's meat. But when he had the right company, so just ask God to, you know, call to um, help you to get good friends, mm -hmm. to choose good friends for you that will help yeah. you and support you. And God, and God really answers those yes, kinds he of does. prayers. Yes, <laughs> he does. He does. So to the question of the day, is it right to have a boyfriend or girlfriend, or girlfriend. <laughs> and like you said this is majorly teenagers you know secondary school people that know it people are not ready <laughs> exactly so to the question that you get the answer is no. the answer is no but we won't leave you with it no. we're going to give you reasons why it is not right right among the other things we have said um one major reason is because they are opening the door to making mistakes mm -hmm. mistakes because usually you know when it starts with the harmless boyfriend girlfriend or let's just be friends usually usually it always leads to more because feelings are involved mm -hmm. and you are not you're not wood <laughs> like they say but don't be wood you're not wood that you just mm -hmm. say oh i'm together with somebody who i have feelings and we're just going to be it's <laughs> <laughs> exactly you are literally tempting like we said don't tempt the devil so you are literally mm -hmm. tempting yourself to, <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> tempt <the devil. laughs> to to um to fall to commit sins and it may not be from an innocent you know he just brushed your shoulder and then something this <laughs> another and then you, you don't want all that you don't want it's unnecessary it's unnecessary so why don't you just turn up uh, be close leave, leave the tap close before the flood come rushing in exactly. so basically that's one major reason why you shouldn't you know Boyfriend, girlfriend, Asian, secondary school. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then just to add to like a common adage says, if you if you know you won't eat something, don't put it close to you. <laughs> exactly. Don't you smell know you, it. Don't smell it. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you know you won't eat it, so just just keep it away from you. Just to add yeah, to Yeah, it's very, okay. very true. Yeah. I think you wanted to say so, something. Um, another reason why, because I believe if you have a strong why, it helps you to stand firm yeah. on, your, mm -hmm. on your stand. Um, another important reason is because there's time for everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, yeah, Ecclesiastes says that there's time, time to be born, that it's plenty <laughs> basically there's time for everything. everything and like i mentioned earlier the emotions are is god god put those emotions in you mm -hmm. but then it is for an appointed time yeah it is for an appointed time it's, that it's just like i have uh maybe a five-year-old and i give him car the car um, kids the car take my drive mm -hmm. <laughs> that's going to definitely have the yeah. child yeah it's going to have the child so there's time for everything mm -hmm. so yes being in a relationship leading to marriage is a good it's thing a very it's good a very thing. good thing but then it needs to be done at the right time right. because if you do it at the wrong time abuse is going to Yes, it's inevitable. inevitable. Yeah. So yes, yes, just wait for the right time, mm -hmm. and at the right time it will be beautiful. God mm -hmm. will bless it, and there's no point, you know, hiding because most yes, of the time always done in hiding. secret. Exactly. In secret. So there's no point hiding. Stand firm and deny yourself now for mm -hmm. the greater things that lie ahead. Exactly. So at this time, focus. If you're in school, focus on your academics, on your books, focus on, you know, on your relationship with God mm -hmm. and just having good friendship with people, people around people, you. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And then just, just to add to that, I like to say that it's, it's not just secondary school that we're talking no, about. Yes, around, yes. Yeah, but then, of course, if you are, if, if you're in the category of someone that just feels like you can just try, let's just see how this goes. Even if you're in university and you're saying that, let's just see how this goes. You are in this category that we're, that we're talking about <laughs> here. Okay. So another thing I want to say is that it's, I feel like it's a waste of emotions. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, because you can truly invest your emotions in something that is more beneficial mm -hmm. and is and is lasting because you sh you would want to invest your emotions into something that you know won't last mm. and you know you know you know that there's no future in this <laughs> but just for the sake of you know to feel a pleasure more, for the pleasure, pleasure of now but the pleasure of now you go mm. and you know waste so much time on something that mm. you know will not last for example of course, said I've gone had crushes. This no crush I had. God knows how it just over my head. Yeah, like right. you just keep thinking about the person, thinking about what to do with the person, mm. thinking about if you offended the person, <laughs> thinking about like unnecessary things that you yeah. don't need to in, in, engage yourself with at the moment. Right now, you are you are single. You have a lovely relationship with people. You can just invest your time wisely. You know, invest it in books. Invest your invest in your future. Invest in God. 
invest in where you where you are seeing yourself five years ten years from now because you know, just like you said it's time wasting it's resources wasting <laughs> it's energy wasting it's 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 a waste of your emotion so yeah. just like you know we've been saying there's time for everything but at this stage it's really good to focus on something else that would you know help you on the long run not what to be ephemeral yeah. and would die before you know it I remember how out of the money my, my dad gives me for pocket money, I would still save up or buy a Valentine gift. <laughs> oh Lord. But of, like so what end? In the end, was it not just a waste? So we're encouraging you from knowledge, from experience and from the Holy Spirit as Holy Spirit inspiring us to encourage you not to take this step, not to make this decision. And if you're already, you know, involved in it, out we encourage you to take that right step to come out and don't don't um don't think of what people say because for me that was one thing that kept me because i kept on thinking that if i break up how would they look at me how i would be like mm -hmm. black sheep like what's wrong with her why is she doing this everybody likes this guy why am I? so i kept on you know harboring those thoughts and i because of that i kept on being trapped and mm -hmm. one um other reason why it's not right to be, have a boyfriend is because of lack of peace i didn't have peace mm -hmm. as a child of god you know deep down you are not supposed to do this. My parents had, you know, brought us in the will of the Lord, had encouraged us, had admonished us, don't do this. So I, I couldn't read my Bible at the stretch without having that nudging. I was doing the wrong thing. So I didn't have peace. That's the truth. I didn't have peace. Even though I still went to church, I still did all those things. But deep down, I knew I was doing the wrong thing. So you want your peace with God. You want your relationship with God to thrive, to blossom. And you cannot do that by engaging in something that God is not pleased with. So mm -hmm. please, we encourage you to take the right steps. Um, and don't have a boyfriend or girlfriend before time, before time. And so to wrap up, we just like to talk about when is it right to mm. enter a relationship? When is the best time to go into a relationship? <laughs> when is the best time to go? Okay, so like we have been saying, um, if you have the intention of entering into a relationship to just see how it goes for trial and error's sake, then definitely you know that it is not the right time, that you are not ready, yes. simply simply speaking, but if you are rather entering into a relationship with the prospect of marriage, like you are saying that me and this person, I want to get married to this person, and that's not secondary school. <laughs> My people, it's not secondary school. It's, it's at least when you've gotten enough experience, when you are at least in, in that marriageable age, yeah. in that uh, marriageable yeah, age market, mature. when you are mature Maturity. enough, physically speaking, mentally speaking, spiritually, spiritually emotionally, emotionally mature. So yeah. maturity is not just about your body age. type, it's not just age. about your age, exactly. It's about your emotions, your spiritual, your spirituality, your, 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 um, Emotion. Character, yeah, character. character wise too. So, so mm -hmm. it's in all aspects. So when you when 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 you know that you are mature in those areas and you are ready to take on somebody to you know walk down the aisle with and and, and you are seeing that in a couple of months to years. <laughs> yeah. So not yeah, decades. not decades. <laughs> in a couple of months to years, then fine, you are actually ready to be in a relationship. Another important thing to add, like okay, when you now finally say okay, I'm ready to be in a relationship, I'm ready to get married, mm -hmm. it's always important to have people you are accountable to, mm -hmm. people that you are accountable to, who, who you can seek, seek counsel from. So yeah. even when you started your relationship, both of you have been led, because of course we've We've over we've not overflowed it, but we've said it a lot. We've emphasized the fact that it's important to be led to wherever you're planning to get married. To you don't just wake up and say, "Oh, I like this person. Let me get no." So you've been led to the person that you get. God, though, yes, <laughs> true. <laughs> you've been led by God to to meet this person. This is the person I want to get married to, and both of you have agreed to start, you know, courtship. It's important that your relationship is accountable to someone that you can also seek counsel and having accountability helps a lot because it helps you from making certain mistakes and it also helps you to have proper guidance from people that have gone down that road and you know can see some things that you can't see. So be happy people your relationship is accountable to don't have your courtship in isolation. <laughs> it's not always safe. The Bible says in the multitude of counsel, there is safety. safety. Mm -hmm. So that's, that wraps it all up. Yes. So basically, um, in conclusion, we hope we'll be able to um, give reasons why you shouldn't have a boyfriend or girlfriend before time. time. Okay. Yes. So please and please be encouraged. Don't feel, um, don't, don't give in to peer pressure. Mm -hmm. Don't feel like they will laugh at me. Just know that you're doing the right thing and there's time for everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. So with that, we'll wrap up with a word of prayer. Yes. 
Yes. Heavenly Father, we say thank you for today. We appreciate you for your faithfulness. Thank you for this, um, your word that you have shared to your children. Father, we praise as anyone who is struggling to make the right choice, struggling to say no, or struggling to say yes to God, struggling to say no to the world, and struggling to say yes to God. We release grace upon such a person, Lord, in the name of Jesus. The grace not to be influenced by peer pressure, but to stand. Knowing for God that God is standing behind you and with you. Father, we receive grace for such people to stand for you, Lord, in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. We pray that as many people are in the wrong relationship, that Lord God Almighty, you will liberate them Amen. and set them free and help them to build their relationship with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for our prayer. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Um, so please feel free to follow us on our social media handles on Instagram, True Talk with Ted, and you can reach us by sending an email to us on True Talk with Ted at gmail.com. Thank you so much. God bless you. Till next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.